out, you're gonna work together as a team. You're gonna make one noise together. And pay attention to detail. This isn't a punishment for guys who just don't care or don't want to be here. They're out here and we're out here because they want to improve. You know, they try to put you in a stressful situation so that you have to work together. So when they can carry that kind of mindset over to the ice, that's where I think you're going to see real improvement. Some guys took their trash out, some guys didn't, so that means that you guys are just lazy. I said everybody be the same, right? I made myself clear on that. Everything we do has a purpose. You guys will be successful when you figure out what the lesson is that we're teaching. The one thing, the one hint I'm going to give you for the rest of the morning is to communicate. If you guys are not talking to each other, you're going to fail miserably. So I want you guys to run out to the beach and give you two minutes to get that way. All right, go. Yep. training last night and left for the day. I'm walking back out through the chow hall and I see bottles, 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 bottles. Day one, they had left a bunch of bottles of Gatorade and water and different things out and the SEALs had those boxes of, of bottles and stuff and they said, you know, they auctioned it off basically by work. I'll hold up an item. Why don't you sound off? Let me know what you imagine it's worth in terms of push-ups or squats or other physical discomfort. First item up for bids, one water bottle with a little bit, maybe a swallow and a half left in it. What do you bid, gentlemen? Four. Four? four. <laughs> Wet and then sandy. Head to toe. Hurry up. Head to toe. Hurry up. Pretty much the first day is always, it's always a disaster. They've done push-ups, they've done sprints, they've done all these things. It's it's having to do these things while they're uncomfortable and while they're confused. That's where the where the growing is happening. That's where the the strengthening is happening. It's from the neck up. You, you meet these standards, these high standards, these professional level standards, or there are consequences. Every time we messed up and we had to do it over again, over again, and so long for I don't know, hour, thirty, two hours. So that was the moment when I knew we're Screw for the week. Stop what I'm doing. Hit the drink. Get back down here in your spots. Go. Do this right. You better not have dry hair. Stop. Stop what you're doing. Some of you guys got your head down and you're not moving together. You just did push-ups. Two, two, three. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Go get wet. Rinse your bad judgment off. That's got to be worth something. Get the drink, get back here, cover head to toe sand. The SEALs themselves teach you so much about working under stress, about the fact that you can work harder than you think you can when things are tough and you've already been, you know, you're already done 200, 300 push-ups, you can do another 10. Extract the bill! Booyah! Extract the bill! Recover! Congratulations, you're the proud owner of one bottle. I mean, you saw the difference between when we started and when we finished. You know, by the time we finish, everything is just so. You know, as, as good as they can possibly do it. So when they can carry that kind of mindset over to the ice, that's where I think you're going to see real improvement. Two, 
you know, at first they were all over the place. You know, they were going in this direction, that direction. Then all of a sudden, you know, they're going together and they're counting it off together and they're doing it in sequence. And they're, you know, they're, they're paying attention to the detail of what was being asked for them to do. From here on, there's going to be more team, more coordination type exercises. They're going to be working when they're tired, but it's just going to be just going to be harder from here. Log PT, you guys all carry your logs over here today, right? They're pretty heavy. Yeah. What were you thinking when you saw that log? Pretty heavy. It's not. It's 18 pounds per foot. You guys will know instantly if somebody is carrying their 30 pounds or you're carrying it for them. This is a lesson in suffering. what we throw at them. If we keep them wet and sandy, we just keep dropping them down. No matter what happens, they just keep charging. And then that's what we want to be able to hand over to the Sabres, where they can just put them out there and no matter what the score is, it was a bad call, uh, there are two goals behind, no matter what it is, they're going to keep charging. You guys put out, consequences of that are you're getting a good deal. You're gonna roll out of here probably around a half hour early. You guys got the lesson, you did what you're supposed to do. You're gonna reap the benefits. It pays to be a winner. Oh my God.